I'm here with the Goose and Jimmy Van Nuys talking to John Molina Jr. Kevin Ioli of Yahoo made a list of the 30 fighters he would pay or people would pay to watch. Can you give us some of the names on his list? Uh, we got Brian Valoria, uh, Roman Gonzalez, Mikey Garcia, Nonito Donaire, Jesse Magdaleno, Terrence Crawford. Uh, let's see, we got Brandon Rios. We got, uh, let's see, who else? Carl Froch, Abdur Mars, Miguel Cotto, Timothy Bradley. Mayweather, Triple G. Triple G is his number one over Mayweather, which I, I, I'll agree with him on that. And, and all, and sty stylistically, everyone likes to, uh, Triple G because uh, everyone wants to see that knockout. They don't want to see someone dancing around the ring. People of pure, peerless uh, of a boxing sport like the Floyd Mayweather, given what he does, but Gennady Golovkin, the, he, the guy hits like a ton of bricks, and he, he's exciting. I mean, I, I like to watch him fight no matter who he's fighting. Do you agree with the list or no? Uh, some some of it yes, yeah, some of it no. I mean, he has maybe someone who's going to be your next opponent in that list as well. Yeah, of course, Omar Figueroa. I think uh, that would be a, a good fight for us, but uh, he's pretty high. He's pretty low on the list. Is there anyone you would add to that list that you don't see? Uh, besides myself, yeah, it would, it would be a, you know, if you got Omar Figueroa in there, I'm sure you, you got to put me in there, but um. Like I said, we'll handle that when, when me and Figueroa fight, and then uh, we'll have to go ahead and X his name out of there. Now, I, like I said, the, the fight with Omar Figueroa it should be an exciting fight for both fighters, regardless. I think the real winner is going to be the fans, and I think the fans know that. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting the phone call saying that they finally agreed to make the fight happen. He also had a list of four or three fighters that he would never pay for, which he had oh, Guillermo yeah. Rigondeau, Shane Mosley, and, and Broner. Uh, you know, I, Rigondeau, I, I like watching him because, uh, you know, he really made Nonito look normal in that ring. And I, in my opinion, Nonito Donaire was deserving of being on the pound for pound list. And the way he made Nonito Donaire look at that fight, I, I, was, I, I, was, I was one that said that I thought Nonito was going to knock him out. And uh, he just nullified everything that he had to offer. And I it, was with you on that one. And it blew my mind. And after that performance, it, it pretty. I, but he didn't get any any accolades. He didn't get any. Surpri say. Surprisingly, I think yeah. Surprisingly, he didn't. But I think Styles make fights. We got to see him in there with someone like, uh, you know, maybe a Abner Mares, and that would be a good fight. Even though I think Abner moved or up. Mikey, or Mikey. Or Mikey Garcia. Even that would be. A but great they're all fight. like a little bigger weight class. A little bit bigger, but Rigondeau. Uh, what about a rematch with Donaire? A rematch for, with Donaire would be good, but I don't know how serious Donaire is given. Not serious, but he just he's had a baby or is having a baby. I know that that takes its toll on, on, on someone for your, having a kid. And uh, I don't know, not right now, maybe a little bit down the line. I would like to see it, but, you, you know, for Rigondeau to go up and wait would be a good thing for him because, you know, he's a, this extensive amateur, this uh, three-time gold medal winner and already a world champion after 11 fights or whatever many fights it was, nine fights. So... If he wants a challenge and he wants the accolades, the accolades that he, he seeks, he needs to go up and wait and challenge some of these big guys like a Mikey Garcia. That would be a very intriguing fight like a Abner Mar is and, and, and guys uh, of that stature. Let me ask uh, Juan, who are the five fighters, Juan, five fighters you would pay to watch? Pay to watch? Yeah. Mayweather, of course. Okay, that's one. Uh, Andre Ward. Okay. Mikey Garcia. Uh, Rios? Pacquiao? I would like to see Rios. Nah, Pacquiao. No. You know what? I think the better not question of that. Not I Pacquiao? Have, Why not? I'm not a big fan of Pacquiao. He wouldn't pay to watch Pacquiao. I still think Pacquiao has. Like, I'm very what intrigued. What about Marquez? Is he in this list? Uh, yeah, no, he's not on that list either. And I still think Marquez is a great fighter too. I mean, Marquez is not on this list. No, he's not on the list. Uh, if, I'm, see, if I'm mistaken, uh, I'm gonna look really quick. What about uh, Andre Ward? Is he on this list? No, he's not on the list. But that's really? due, that's due to his inactivity, I believe. Okay. It, just just him not being in the ring. I, I still think Andre. Maidana's on this is, list, right? Yeah, of course. I, I believe he is. Yeah, I, yeah. Number fourteen, and then Amir Khan is thirteen. Yeah, I think they should switch that up. Maidana is more exciting than Amir Khan. Amir Khan is like you're waiting for a, the time bomb to go off on his chin, and then he gets knocked out. Carl Froch is on this list as number twelve. Carl Froch is actually one of my favorite fighters, man. Given his style and his tough man persona that he puts on, I, I like his style, man. I like the way he comes to fight. Are the, are the Klitschko's not on this list? They are. The, the Klitschko's are on the list, surprisingly, and I'm not. I'm not a big fan because the, when was the last good Klitschko fight that you watched, honestly? Uh, let's see, is there a... 
Let's see who else is on, on this list uh, that's not on the list that you would add right now. Who's, who's exciting to watch in boxing? Uh, well, it depends on what you, you know. I think the better question is What's your exciting preference? matchups. Exciting matchups. Because if you have Floyd Mayweather against a nobody, who wants to watch that? Or Glenn Golovkin against a guy he's going to knock out. We're just waiting for the knockout. If, but if well, I would put Soto Carras on this list because he never has been in a boring fight ever. He no. just That's not his fights. His fights are never bad. No, Carras definitely took the, the dirt road to get to where he's at. He definitely took the, the hard way up. And, and his record is deceiving because you look at him, he looks like he's going to be not a tough fighter, but when he gets out there, he he lays all the pressure, puts on. He is a tough fighter, Soto Carras. I'm trying to see if uh, Danny Garcia is on the list. Yes, he is, number 22. Because he's pretty excited. I think Danny Garcia is on the list because of his dad, not because of anything. I think people are more intrigued to, to watch the buildups of his dad and fight with everyone else. I don't think they're, they're too intrigued to watch Danny Garcia fight. So there you have it. John Molina Jr., Juan Funes right here at the Goose and Jimmy Van Nuys. Stay tuned. Facebook, and Melissa back reporting.